First of all, a very warm welcome to Codex members video. I really appreciate you people's monthly contribution. Now to start with video, in the main tutorial, I have shown how to add Google map and use markers. Here we will learn about custom info window to achieve something like Google. Now to make this process easy, we're going to use a package which is known as custom info window. And with this package, we are going to build the UI, control all the events, drag camera movement on tap and all sort of features, right? So let's go ahead and create a custom info window controller. And this controller we are going to use inside our map. So once the map is created, we are going to set the value of Google map controller inside the custom info window controller, right? So just write this line over there. And next, what happens when you tap anywhere on the map other than custom info window. So we are going to just hide the information window if you click outside the box. And lastly, what happens when you move your camera, like when you are panning around the map. So we have to move the camera of our controller as well, which you can simply do with the controller dot move camera or on camera move event you can trigger over here. And one more thing you have to consider here, like put exclamation mark at the end of the camera, uh, end of the method, uh, so that it uh, treats it like it, the value is never going to be null. Now, which is something weird, actually, the method uh, which I'm triggering is anyways never going to be null. So why to put a null check over there? Anyways, so what I have done here, I have wrapped the Google map inside a stack. What it means that Google map on top of Google map, there's going to be one extra layer, which is going to represent our custom info. Now you can define a controller for like, we can set the controller as our controller info window. And optionally, you can define height and width of your custom info window. So this is something you will come to know once you start designing the info window, then you will see that, okay, I need to customize the height and width so you can tweak that later on. So to work with window, let's go ahead and inside our marker, I'm going to override or I'm going to provide on tap event. What happens when you click on the marker and here using custom info window controller, I'm going to add info window. And now you will notice here that it requires two parameters. So let's go ahead and define those two parameters. So the first parameter is a widget and second one is lat long. So for the widget, I will just define a container, empty container as of now and location will be this location. So the marker text position and even the custom info window requires the location, right? Let's go ahead and start uh, designing our info window. For that, I'm just going to provide some standard decoration to the container. And as a child, I'll be using one network image, uh, you know, a fancy image which represents store or banner or things like that. And when you tap on your marker, you should have something like this. And now currently image is loading. So you need to handle that as well. Like it should be fast. It should be lightweight. Currently, I used any Google map image, which may be like in KBs or MBs. I don't even know that. So it will look something like this. Now it's up to your imagination, what controls, what widget you want to put. Uh, the limits are uh, just your imagination. Okay. So I'm just going to wrap it with a container, uh, with a column, sorry, and provide one text widget. And then I realize, okay, the width is less or height is less. So anytime you can tweak, like once you start designing, then you will come to know how much height and width you should give it to window. And there you have it a custom info window which uh, represents your business right and you can have that information varying on each marker right because uh, of course you need to pass it as a parameter to each marker perfect so there you have it thank you once again for being a member of channel codex i'll try my best to produce members only content time to time keep your support thank you so much for watching i will see you guys in the next one